This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today we're talking about a new preset that I created called Numbers Plus. You can get it over at creativedojo.net. It's a name your own price preset, so you can pay whatever you want for it, including $0 for free. Um, but basically it's kind of like a hack of all the expressions and all the stuff that I've gathered from Creative Cow, from After Effects forums, from picking the brains of people way smarter than I am on how to create these little counters and After Effects that I've used over the years. I smash it all together into a preset. So this is great for like infographic stuff, counters, timers, clocks, all those annoying little number type animations and text. That's kind of painful to create with expressions sometimes, um, especially if you're creating, you know, hundreds and hundreds of um, numbers and infographic information and stats and stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the preset right here. This is what it looks like. This is the UI. And so once you install it into your After Effects preset directory, you can go ahead and go to the effects and presets panel under animation presets. And it should be under the Creative Dojo folder directory. And we have a few other presets here, but this is the numbers preset. And you can either apply it to an existing text layer or you can select nothing right here and go ahead and double click on the preset and it'll add a new text layer by itself. And we can go ahead and reposition this thing to kind of where we want it. And by default, we have some auto animation right here. We'll talk more about this auto animation feature a little bit later, but effectively you can go ahead and set a start value. So let's say we can start from like 50 and uh, you know, 800. It'll animate from 50 to 800, just like that. So by default, it is a counter preset. And so you can actually change the position, right? So we, if you want no decimal places, we can set it to zero. It'll just be integers. If you want to set it to like five, you'll get uh, five decimal places. And so these are some just basic features that you'll be using a lot for all sorts of things, currencies and whatnot. And so by default, if we go ahead and increase this to like 5,000, we get a comma separator. If you use periods or dots as a separator in your country, uh, we have options for that too. So we have all sorts of separators right here, commas, colons, even spaces if you kind of just want to have a space as a divider, as well as a custom option. So if these are not what you need, you can actually define a custom expression right here. And this can apply for the prefix and suffixes as well. So let's say you're working with currencies. We have some currencies like US dollars. Um, we have the Euro. We have all sorts of plus or minus to show net change, stocks, money, all sorts of stuff, percentages. And you can add it to the beginning or end as well as the custom expressions. Now, how do you define a custom symbol or separator or prefix? Well, you could go ahead and hit UU on the keyboard and under the source text, we have these variables right here. And this is where you can define all your custom separators, your prefix and your suffix. So if I want the suffix to be pound sign, I can find that there. If I want my prefix to be a carrot sign, I can do that there. And if I want a pipe symbol as my separator, I can define that there. And then once I go ahead and select it as a separator custom, it will use the pipe like we defined here or for the prefix, if we set to custom, it will use the carrot symbol and so on and so forth. So to apply a custom separator prefix suffix, just go into the expressions and define it in the variable at the very, very top under source text. Let's go ahead and talk about how to animate this thing. So by default, the auto animation is turned on. And if we go to auto animation under increment, you can see that we have the increment auto animation turned on set to one second and you can also delay it. So if you want the animation to start two seconds later, you can define it under delay. But by default, the animation lasts one second. You can define it to whatever you want or you can turn it off and this text won't increment anymore. We also have an option for the position. We can also disable that as well. So it is purely a static thing. When the auto increment is turned off, you can actually manually animate it using the increment percentage, right? So at 0%, we're at 50 as a start value. And as we increment to 100, we'll end up at our end value. And you can keyframe the increment percentage this way um, and manually increment your values depending on your animation, your, your guidelines your voiceovers or whatever. Um, again, this increment only works if the auto increment is turned off, which makes sense. Um, so we can go ahead and enable that back on and set it to two seconds and you'll find that this thing will auto animate in two seconds. So just a very, very simple auto animation feature to add some more dynamicness to your statistical values or your, your currencies or whatever, um, rather than having just static text 
you know, on the screen and you have to auto animate everything. Um, we can add more stuff to this a little bit later. This is just version one, but we have some basic position animation and this uses the text animator. So if you want it to come from the left side, we can set this Y position to zero and we can set the X origin position to like negative 100. And you'll find that the animation occurs from that direction. So you're just defining an origin position and it'll auto animate to the final position just like that. So just really nice, simple automation features in this preset. So everything that we just talked about just now is kind of part of the default mode, which is like the counter mode. I use counters a lot in my animations and projects. So this is what the preset kind of defaults to. Now we also have a second mode here called timer. And once you enable that, all this stuff up here doesn't work. The start value, end value, precision, separators, all this stuff does not work um, except for the auto animation under position. I'm gonna go ahead and disable that for now, but everything here is part of the counter mode and everything down here is part of the timer mode. And in the timer mode, we have two options. We either have a clock or a countdown mode. So for clock, it is literally a clock, like a digital clock like you see here, and it increments in either real time or you can speed it up by a multiplier. So we have the options to change the format. So whether or not you wanna show days or you wanna show hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, pad zeros. Um, so if you wanna just show seconds, you can just show seconds by itself. And down here, you can define everything. So, so the speed is how fast this clock is moving. So one is real time. If you wanna do it five times faster than real life, you can change it to five. And so we can define the start time of the clock. So we can go zero hours, zero minutes, 30 seconds. And at the start of your layer right here, so if I just start at two seconds, at the start of your layer, you'll start at 30 and it'll just increment up as a timer or like, like a clock. And if you wanna show minutes, you can too. So on and so forth. So it's a simple little clock and everything is good. And so if we switch to the countdown mode, it's the exact same thing, but now we're counting down. So we're starting at 30 and we're counting down to 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, so on and so forth. And again, you can show days, you can show hours. And the great part is this preset is smart. So if I just show seconds right now, and if I set the number of seconds to 70, right? And if you make sure that the pad zeros is selected, it's smart enough to know that 70 seconds is a minute in 10 seconds. So it's gonna show everything accurately depending on the format that you pick. Um, and so you don't have to do all these weird conversions and convert seconds to minutes and so on and so forth. Or if you wanna change it to hours, it's gonna show everything relative to the format that you picked, which is great. And I think this is a very, very handy little preset if you're doing a lot of statistical information, currency showing um, change in values, infographics, statistical stuff. Um, so this is really, really great. And I hope that this preset will be very, very handy to you guys. Before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the online platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, if you use promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that is the numbers plus preset by Creative Dojo. Again, it's a name your own price preset. Play around with it, have fun with it. I used the After Effects 3D engine with Cinema 4D to create this extruded countdown timer within After Effects. And it's pretty cool. So have fun with it, play around with it. Add your own text animators to it. Again, it's only a preset, so it's just a starting point for you to create your animation. So this is a very cool tool. Again, a name your own price preset over at Creative Dojo. My name is Vincent, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.